thank you for watching this video. Today we will be drawing a donut. Now let's. Now this is going to be a really fun lesson because we get to put the 3D around on the middle and on the outside of it, which will be really fun to do too. All right, let's get started. If you have a little play donut you can look at, great. You can look at it and it'll help you. We're just going to tear it up to the top right here. And just look at it and we're going to be drawing it. So let's go. All right, our first step, we're going to draw a circle in the middle of the paper. Just a big circle. Or if you wanted to, you could draw a square donut donut and make it a square. All right, now that we have that circle, we're gonna put another circle inside of it, right in the middle. All right, now that we've got some sprinkles we need to put on, don't we? All right, so how we're gonna put these sprinkles on? We're just gonna make lines. And if you want to, you could do this with your color pencil, crayon, colored marker just make lines around it and the cool part about this is that you that will never get the, the same drawing doing it this way and that's cool so then you can show it to your friends and your friends can do it and it'll always be different there won't be one drawing that's the same Another cool thing about this is that you can, if you color it right, you can joke, you can joke around with your friend and say, "Hey, you want a donut?" And you have this cut out, and you can say, "Here you go." And then, and then they say, "All right, let me have it." And then you, instead of the, instead of you passing it to them, you put it in their mouth, and then it's really just a piece of paper. The more like different directions you make it, the more realistic it'll look. All right, so there we have that done. It's really simple right now. All right, so now we're gonna say that we're looking down on it from this direction. So then we're gonna see a shadow down here. So we're just gonna take a pencil. And we're gonna light, make a little slab down here. And that's what we'll shade later on. And then also the donut that has this middle piece and you can see it coming down. So you're looking down on it from this way. You're gonna see a spot that comes out like this. Basically we're drawing it the same way we drew it right here. If you want to, you could take your marker and color back over that. But this spot is smart to use your smart to use your pencil first. That way you get it how you want it, and then you put it on. And then I wouldn't put this on yet. I wouldn't color in that yet. Because we're not there yet. Alright, now it's time to color it. Alright, the colors that I think we're going to use, colors pink, yeah. and just a pale vermilion. Oh, wait, we also need a, a lush pink. We also need a blush pink. Alright, and then also we're going to take a black, just for shading. We might not need it, but I think think we will. Alright, let's get started. We're going to take our pink and all we're going to do is we're just going to color in everywhere that does not have any blocking marks. Like right here, we're not going to color that in. We're going to color like the outsides of it and not the color it in. Alright, so I'm going to fast forward this part so that way it doesn't take as long for you to watch me doing all of this. 
And remember, if you have to, if I'm going too fast for you, you can, all you have to do is hit the pause button. It's not illegal to press the pause button. Alright, we're almost done and done. Alright, now we're gonna get into our shading. We'll need that pink later. For now, we're just gonna set it up there. Now we're gonna take our, our pale vermilion. And I'm gonna just put one right here. A little bit darker. Darker, it's kinda like an orangish. We're gonna take our pink. I'm going to go back over it. And I'm going to take our blush pink and go over that. Now for those of you that are wondering what kind of colored pencil I'm using, I am using a Prismacolor Premier. There's lots of other kinds, like the Prismacolor Scholar, there's Crayola brand, a lot of different brands, but this is the one that I like. So right here, what we're going to do, we're going to take our blush pink and fill in over here. Now we want it kind of in the middle from a, from a blush pink and a pink, so we're going to go over it with our pink. So let's lighten it up a tiny bit. Now, maybe right back here in this corner, we'll make a little black. I'm gonna go somewhere and slowly fade it. If you have a drawing you'd like me to do, just tell me in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos. I'm trying to do at least one, one a week. If you haven't seen my other video that I've done, the Simple Paper Airplane, go on over and watch that one. That one's an easy one, but you're just folding a regular piece of paper. You don't have to have it square or anything. It's just a piece of paper. Alright, for the last step on this drawing, we're just going to take our pink, and we're just going to blend over this whole thing again. It should, I'm going to press down hard, and then each time it should look somewhat like this.
and we're done tell me how you like it in the comments below and be sure to subscribe thank you for watching well i will see you in my next videos bye